Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is just about 8.30 a.m. We are getting this show on the road because we've got things to do. So starting the morning, you already know, with our little morning routine, let's take our supplements, write down our gratefuls, start the day off right. I vlogged from the weekend into Monday, so I stopped vlogging yesterday. So picking it up back today if you want to see that. That's in the last vlog. Of course, I always, always, always start my day with my Seed DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. So thank you so much to Seed for sponsoring today's video. So excited to be working with them again. You guys see me take this literally every day in the vlogs. It is a symbiotic, so it is a probiotic and a prebiotic all in one. It supports gut health, not only that, skin health, heart health, digestion, bloat ease. It's just overall so good for you. One of my favorite things about Seed is that they are backed by so much science and so much research. I really appreciate that because it makes sense because it actually works, you know? Here are the little capsules. I take two every single morning. It's recommended to start with one for the first few days and then go up to two. You take it on an empty stomach. And if you guys can see this little outer covering, if my camera wants to focus for me. Okay, there we go. So it has this outer protective covering on it meaning it protects it from oxygen any moisture so you don't need to refrigerate it and when you swallow it it makes sure that it gets to exactly where it needs to go protecting everything you want from all of your stomach acid I forgot my water hold on today's gonna be one of those days where i definitely need an allergy pill as well oh and eye drops real quick okay i feel better now let's take our seed easy peas so on your first order, you get this nice glass jar. And then for your monthly refills, you get these little refill packs. And then for travel, you get this adorable little travel case. I've got so much travel coming up and I love this thing. I started taking this back in March and I had such regularity and digestion issues. And now I feel like everything just runs so much smoother. I can actually go to the bathroom, a TMI, but it's true. So if you have any issues like that, highly recommend giving it a try. I've tried so many things and... I will never go without her now. So if you guys want to try it out, I definitely recommend that you do. Gut health is so important. Like I said, it affects so many other things in your body as well. It's just something really good for your body to add into your morning routine. So definitely check it out. I have a code for you guys. You guys can use the code Alyssa at checkout. You'll get 25% off of your first month's supply of Seeds DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. I always take my cranberry as well. And you already know we got to do the gratefuls. This ice roller feels phenomenal this morning all right oh we get to turn to a new page that's fun i'm gonna be grateful for my morning routine honestly i look forward to waking up coming out here taking my morning supplements writing my gratefuls filling out my sippy ice rolling like it's just my thing in the morning and it helps me like start my day off right and i feel like i love checking everything off my to-do list too and then my next grateful has to be our home because today is september 12th 2023 and we closed on this house and moved into this house on september 12th of 2022 so it is officially one year since we have moved into this home and this morning i was going through my phone and pulling all little videos to make like a little reel of all of our memories here and it just made my heart so full to see everything we've done in this home and honestly all the changes we've already made like the countertops and the built-ins and painting rooms and all of our furniture and i was looking at the videos from when we toured the house and they just decorated it so differently and we like made this house a home you know and i just i'm so grateful to be here i love this house and looking back at all the memories is just like wow all the stuff that we've done here is just so awesome so i am grateful for h-o-m-e baby made this house a home i love it here we're gonna celebrate a little bit later we're gonna do dinner at home and spend some time here and just enjoy the house today a little date night the last thing i'm gonna be grateful for is my management company i am about to get ready to head to a brunch with them in the city in a little bit and I'm just grateful that I was talking to Zane about it yesterday that they just treat me well. Like it's really nice to have people in your life because I don't know, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I treat my friends very well and I put a lot of effort into things like that. And I just appreciate the people in my life. So it's really nice when it's reciprocated on the other end. It's like, that's the worst feeling, right? When you're like, oh, I'm putting so much effort and energy into this person and they don't give it back. And I feel like my management company all around is just very, very nice to me. And that is so appreciated. 
So, and it's really cute that they do like little brunches like this New York Fashion Week. So they're all like gathering together. So yeah, I'm just gonna go meet up and see everyone. It's nice to feel appreciated, you know? So I appreciate them a lot. It's a very, very nice feeling when you find it, keep it. All right, now we're in the office. Next on my list is to do the final touches on the vlog rewatch that back and get that uploaded. We are gonna try to leave this house at 10.30, it is 8.46. So I'm gonna start watching this back, make my thumbnail while I'm watching, do my links, and then once I'm done doing that, if I'm not finished watching it back, I'm gonna start doing my makeup while I'm watching. Two bars of one stone. I already washed my hair last night. I blew it out quickly, but I just need to run a straightener through it just to flatten out from sleeping. And then I know what I'm gonna wear because I have rental clothes, so. That's easy piece. That usually takes like a good 15, 20 minutes to pick my outfit. So that's a plus. We don't have to do that. I think I can get it done, especially because this vlog is only like 41 minutes. So I don't have to watch back an hour and five minutes of footage, you know? Let's do it. Professional is two out of three sets. Are we watching so back the vlog? I, I okay, it is 10, 20. So I literally have to leave like really soon. So let's do a nice quick get ready. So I just got my vlog all ready to be uploaded. I'm just waiting on like final brand approval. So that's really good. I have some stuff that I can do on my phone on the train. I'm also gonna bring my Kindle for probably the train home because on the way there I have some phone stuff to get done. And then also exciting news, my friend and I just got tickets to go see SZA in October at the Barclays Center. I love her music. We got like kind of nosebleeds because they were kind of expensive and we were like, just to be there will be fun. So we got like a throw in like the top section, but it'll be nice. We can go get a dinner, we can go to the concert and it's just like a fun night out. So I'm really excited. I also have officially compiled all of, oh, I need to, my brows are grown out. I need to um, do them really quick before I get gel everywhere, but no, let me not waste this. I'll put it in the front. Um, I compiled all the clips that I want to use. Wow, that's loud. What I was trying to say is I compiled all the clips that I want to use for our house little reel that I want to make. And then I think at the end for tonight, since we're going to have like a little date night celebration, I'll include that at the end and it'll be like a whole year review. That's so cute. It's so easy nowadays because I make so much short content. So I can just go in my videos and just find cute little videos from like reels that I've made and just throw them all together. Browser snatched. So usually when I go into the city without Zane and I have to go somewhere other than Midtown, like today I'm going to Soho area, I will usually just take an Uber or if I have the time to go early, I will walk if it's a nice day, which is really far, don't recommend. But today I'm gonna be a big girl and attempt to use the subway. I get like nervous about the subway because I don't live in New York City and I don't really ever take them myself. So I feel like I'll get confused. <laughs> But Zane's like, literally, babe, you just put it in your maps and it tells you which one to take. You read the signs and they make it so easy now. Like back in the day, you'd have to buy like a card and swipe it. Now you literally could just Apple Pay and then go through like the spinny things to get on the subway. So I'm just a suburb gal trying to learn how to get around the city without taking an Uber and spending an extra $50, $75 each, like both ways for no reason. The subway is literally like $3, so. And it's quicker, you don't have to sit in traffic or anything. So I'm gonna attempt today. Wish me luck, I will take you guys along <laughs> the journey. I can't wait to get my freaking camera back, I'll tell you that much, because this one, I haven't watched back any of the footage yet that I've taken on this camera, but I feel like it's just not gonna be the vibe. Probably the audio is worse too. Some concealer. Thank goodness my hair is so easy, I already know what I'm gonna wear. That helps so much. Happy house anniversary, baby. Happy house anniversary. Mm -hmm. wow. How crazy, huh? Oh, you're by. A whole year. I am making like, a, I'm compiling little clips to make like a little reel. Oh, yeah? So cute, babe. We've done so much in this house. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna put like emotional music yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I think at the end, like later, we should get like a little clip of us like now, like right now, like okay. reflecting, you know, with yeah. our steak. <laughs> It's cute. Right? We could collab on it. It'll be cute. It's so wholesome. A whole year. I have like the clip of us like the first time we jumped in the pool. Yeah? Yeah. The proposal, like the built-in, changing our countertops, like so much. Yeah. Love it. Holy crap. I know. So cool. Make it was done. I just need to put on lipstick. Super fast straighten on this hair. I don't know what shoes I want to wear though. That's my only decision. 
decision I need to make. Oh, bless not having extensions for real. <laughs> Okay, good enough. Let's get dressed. In true Alyssa fashion, I have missed my train that I wanted to take, so I'm going to take a different one. We could have maybe made it by like five seconds, but I would have been rushing out the door. I would have been upset because I didn't pack my purse correctly. I had to put on perfume. I had a delay because this jumpsuit that I rented, the zipper is like, I don't know if it's broken. I don't know if it's fixable, but it was not going up, so... We're going out to dinner tomorrow night, so I'll see if I can make it work for that because I really, really love this jumpsuit and I want to wear it. But I have this dress that I rented as well, so this is what I'm going to wear. I was debating so many shoes, but ultimately decided on these comfy little slides. I was going to do Converse. I was going to do these. I could do like a heeled booty if I wanted to, but it's like summery out, so I feel like this is like kind of a vibe. And then figured I'd go with like a little pop green purse. I did like thin gold hoops. Comfy cash. The invite literally says, don't worry about what you're wearing just come and enjoy and I love that I love that energy because it is fashion week which I feel like puts a lot of pressure on people like even before I was like oh it's fashion week so maybe I should wear like cool shoes but this is just me this is who I am this is real this is me this dress is still cute too it's got like a cutout in the back and then it's like high low it's a good brunch dress well good thing I just looked in the mirror can you tell I put my lipstick on in a rush oh my goodness Let's fix that I like missed part of my lip here throw a gloss on top I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Okay, let's pack the lipstick. I guess this camera is good for today because usually I wouldn't be able to fit you guys in here. But I can fit this camera. I guess I could switch back and forth when I'm going out and I can't fit my camera in my purse, you know? But I feel like when that's an option, I just vlog on my phone because my phone is good quality too. So it's like to have multiple devices, you know? My Kindle doesn't fit in my purse either, but I can just read on the Kindle app on my phone. So that's fine. Wait a minute. What if I did the cowgirl boots? This is kind of fun. I think I like it. I'm not gonna think twice about it. I'm just gonna wear them. Own it. <laughs> Especially since I'm going into the city. When you're going into New York City, you don't have to think twice about your outfit. You can literally wear whatever you want and no one is going to look at you. So I'm gonna put on some long socks and this is gonna be my fit. Cute. I just took the train all the way uptown and I was supposed to go downtown. Well, all the way on 125th Street, downtown. I think this is right now. Oh my god, this is why I don't take the subway. This is Penn Station, that's where I got off. I'm supposed to be down in this area, and I literally managed to take the subway all the way up here. Good. I have made it, and now I just have a four minute walk to the restaurant. It was so hot on that subway cart that I picked. My hair is probably so frizzy, I'm so sweaty. But I think I can take the subway now. I think I get it. I just accidentally got on an uptown instead of a downtown. So I think now I'll know what to do next time. On the plus side, it is an absolutely gorgeous, stunning day and we have made it. I think I have confidence now in the subway. I think I'll be able to make it home in one try. I won't have to try twice. <laughs> Um, okay, this is like actually the coolest bathroom ever. In case you wanted to see yourself using the bathroom from all angles, <laughs> they got it for you and it smells so good. Love it. Is that the G7X? You did it. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> you guys had such a fun time at the event. I had two screwdrivers, hopefully you can hear me, and I am dying laughing because I'm carrying a whole pie of pizza. <laughs> they got it like all cutesy and they were going to throw it out. You guys know me, I don't like to waste food so they were going to get rid of it and I was like I literally will take that home and freeze it and we will eat it. So now I'm walking to the subway with a whole box of pizza. <laughs> Mood. Hello everyone, I'm here to give you a little update. Alyssa had two screwdrivers at the event. And I think it hit me because I barely ate. Um, I had like a little tiny piece of avocado toast. It was like family style brunch. A little piece of avocado toast, a few bites of a quinoa salad, and then a little piece of chicken. So it, it hit me like a truck, the two drinks that I had. And I didn't want to waste my, my second one. So I like chugged it down. So here I am. But nonetheless, we've made it home. Zainas picked me up. Leave it up to me <laughs> at the event. We had brunch at the restaurant, but then they had two pizzas sitting there with like my management company like in it like written on it I think in like regatta or something I actually can show you and I literally was like if you guys are gonna throw out those pizzas like please don't I don't like wasting food and I will literally carry it on the subway with me 
and on the train, and I did. Look at my pretty. Oh, it says NYFT. Oh, oh I mean sick. NYFW, New York Fashion Week. It used to that say that. amazing too, what the hell? Oh, let's eat it up when we get home. But here it is. It said NYFW, New York Fashion Week, on the way there. I think I documented it a little bit because it was hectic, but I don't really take subways. I Uber, I walk, I explain this to you guys. So I was like, all right, let me try the subway. It's very convenient, it's cheap. So I got on and then all of a sudden I was like, I am heading towards the end of Central Park. Like I went all the way on the opposite side of Manhattan that I needed to be. I needed to be downtown, I went all the way uptown. Luckily the subways are quick, so I like got off and it was an express, so it like wasn't stopping. I was like, oh my God, I'm still going all the way to the other side of Manhattan. So I got off and I finally got on the train going downtown and then I was like, all right, I think I've learned the system now. Now I think I can get home. So I was like, all right, when I go home, I'm going uptown not downtown so i went uptown and apple maps makes it so easy when you just plug it in but for some reason i was looking at a downtown train and then it didn't come and one behind me came and i was like oh i can take the a c or e but i just hopped on the other one when i shouldn't have because it was going uptown so i asked a girl for help <laughs> once i got off all the way past central park and she helped me and i got there so now i think i understand the subway system and that was a whole lot of hoopla but and i got lots of goodies at the event it was so nice to see everyone again so i will give you guys a little haul I haven't even opened it yet, so I'll show you when we get home. But for now, we are at Stu Leonard's. Since it's Zane and I's house anniversary, we are getting ourselves a nice dinner. We're gonna get ribeye steaks, and we're gonna get some fun little sides. And now we have pizza. You know, I almost asked you to bring me shoes, so I don't have to walk around cowgirl boots. We are gonna film a steak tutorial for you guys for short form content, and then we'll also show you on here. And I asked Zane what is his place of choice since he's tried so many ribeyes, and Stu Leonard's was the choice. Have I had this one before? Um, I don't know if you've had it. I don't know. But Stu Leonard's and Whole Foods. Top two. I think so. so okay. Far. Cool, cool, cool. I'm right at home here with my cowgirl boots. <laughs> Look at that. Right at home. <laughs> Guys, also, what? let's even tell you this, but the reason what? we're coming to Stu Leonard's over Whole Foods, because I think both steaks are phenomenal, uh -huh. Stu Leonard's sides are insane. No, I said we're going to get steak and sides. I know, but that was why we're That's, going to Sue Leonard's. Oh, uh, so you would have went to Whole Foods here. instead for the steak. <gasps> I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm only recently biased because I just went to Whole Foods and I had a really right. good experience. Okay, okay. But, um, Both are good. The sides here. Yeah, I'm ready. It's yeah, like they a They got it all, like yo. <laughs> yeah, but I need some salty food right now. I'm hungry. What in the wannabe Jerry Rainbow cookies are those? <laughs> Dad's favorite cookies. Wait, we can get these. Why don't we get a um, cart? What in the avocado is happening? No veggie. Nah. <laughs> Mac and cheese. What do you think? Oh, you are agreeing to the veggies. I thought you were like, nah. No, I think, yeah, we should have a little bit. Oh, I mean, what's your favorite veggie? Mine's asparagus. Yeah, I would agree with that. Do they have? Asparagus is really good. Okay. We should do a mac and cheese. Do they have a pre-made mac? We should do that. We can look for. We should try their pre-made stuff. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. Step one of the ribeye is you have to pick out the right marbling. This one looks really good, but uh -huh. they're kind of small. Yeah, but we're gonna have other stuff. It's like 0.75 pounds each. I think that's perfect. Like look what I found. Ooh. Look, they have fresh roasted vegetables too. <gasps> It's kind of expensive. spinach. Oh, let's do that. I'm down for that. Cream spinach is good. Look, our favorite steakhouse sauce. That's a Yeah, must. and then mac. Hopefully it's good, because it doesn't look too promising, but I'm sure it has to all melt. Yeah, it has to cook. Yeah. Nice. You do love cream spinach. That is a funny fact about you. You wouldn't expect that from you. You guys, who knew Rayo's made other products other than the jarred sauce? I had no idea. Look at this. Lasagna, chicken parmesan. Who knew? Whole pizzas. Wow, interesting. Look what we got right and look what pizza. we got. We need ice cream for our apple pie. Look, that one says cake batter. Do we try it? <gasps> I'm done to try it if you are. I, know I it's your favorite love flavor. cake batter ice cream. Go. But is that going to go good on top of apple pie? Yeah, why not? Sweet on sweet. Okay. Wait, cause is there a small one, baby? Look, there's smaller packs up there. See it? Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's the house of mercy. It's the house anniversary. It's fine. I've been here before, but I'm getting mind blown all over again. Pizza, brisket, barbecue. I forget how much stuff is here. Fresh sushi. Like, oh, you think it's good? Should we do that as an appetizer while we're cooking? We can get a little frisky. A little frisky. Maybe that tuna salmon combo. A little app. You like salmon or tuna better? 
I thought tuna. I like tuna. Salmon sashimi doesn't bother me as much. It's weird. Okay. They both bother me, but I just body my allergies. It's a year of moving to the house. We deserve it. Their rolls look really good too, but they probably all have sesame on them, huh? Honey salad, babe. No way. Yeah. What? <laughs> Dude, this place is awesome. Oh my god, why don't we come here? We need to start coming here. All right, I think that's enough for 10 people for the next five days. Not actually. Yeah, that was so dramatic. That was so dramatic of me. So much prime. It's everywhere. Um, hello, they have a raffle going on for Tate's, Rayo's, or Stu Leonard's. It's like yeah. three of our favorite brands. All you have to do is write your stuff on here. This is just a way for them to be able to send us emails, huh? Yep. I think if we don't check that, we'd like their emails that we're not gonna get. Yeah, for sure. I'm putting yes. Yes. Hopefully we win. All right, it's Stu Leonard's haul. We got so much stuff. Ribeyes for tonight, of course. Butter, mac and cheese for tonight, cream spinach, nigiri sushi we got, apple pie, and cake batter, ice cream, and then I got these just to get, just to try another day, but rice cakes. That's our haul. First things first is we absolutely need to get this mac and cheese going because it says it takes 25 to 30 minutes in the oven. So we're gonna preheat it to 350. We're gonna remove the lid and then cover it with aluminum foil. Hold on, stop the phone. I just read the directions again, and there's an oven option, but there's also a microwave option, which is absolutely what we're gonna go for because the steaks don't take that long, so we're not waiting 30 minutes for this. Obviously, I can't microwave it in the aluminum, so, you know, I'm gonna go with the, the dish that makes it look like we kind of made it ourselves. Oh, this looks phenomenal. I'm trying to do it where I, like, keep it intact. Yeah, that worked. I'm eating it cold. From the bottom. Wow, this is so cool. This is almost better than going out to eat. We've almost. been saying we want to do this. Well, we wanted to do it where we don't have to um, cook, but it's fine. Well, we're not really cooking. I'm making steaks, which I love to do. Right. And everything else, we're just popping in the microwave. That's it. Look how close this camera is. It drives me nuts. Oh, right, the black ones? Yeah. Fun Chubbers already smells good. Chubbers, it's fresh salmon. Okay, no way I can eat this all in one bite, so. I was reading the cheers. Oh, I'm sorry. Post cheers. Hello? Bite. Use your teeth. Good. Post cheers. I feel like you needed to defrost. Rice is hard. Yeah, that was going to be my complaint. The fish is high quality. It is. So what, you think if we let it sit for a little bit? Mm -hmm. Wait, but how is that possible? I thought the rice, like the salmon should be cold. It just needs to sit at room temperature for a little bit. You don't think the salmon will get gross? Mm -mm. Hey, it's good though. Alright guys. So what I'm doing right now, I'm getting the steaks ready. Some people like to do a salt brine, which we're not gonna really do, I've tried it. It's good, not great, but here's the most important thing if you guys wanna, you know, make zane steaks. Two things matter, the quality and the thickness, okay? So these are like a little bit less than an inch, which is good. You can obviously get the really nice thick cut ones that are like two or three inches, but those are a bit more difficult to cook. These are super simple. You could just make them in the pan the whole entire time. Um, we said earlier that the best steaks are at Stu Leonard's and Whole Foods, at least so far that I've tried. Um, I've also tried like local butchers. There are some that are extremely expensive and I haven't had a chance to go to yet, but some of the other local butchers that I went to are not as good as Stu Leonard's or Whole Foods in my opinion. So what you guys should look for if you're getting ribeyes, look for good marbling, right? So like these have a pretty good amount of like white stuff as you guys can see. That is the deliciousness. That's the fattiness. Fat. That's why ribeyes are so <laughs> delicious is because of all this fat. So literally to season it, I only do salt and pepper. Some people like to do garlic powder. I've tried it again. Like I personally just prefer to do salt and pepper. It's important that you guys use kosher salt, this like thick, coarse salt, and you kind of want to cover the whole steak super liberally. Like you want to cover this whole thing pretty much. I'm purposely seasoning it now too, because as I heat up the pan and get the oil going and stuff, I want this salt to sort of start to melt in the steak, kind of like a quick salt brine, if you will. Benji is tuned in, free ticket to the tutorial. Benji, maybe you'll get lucky, you'll get a piece. <gasps> You share with him. That's so nice. Fresh cracked pepper as well. And this is literally it for seasoning. Also important, both sides of the steak need to be seasoned and need to be coated. Salt, pepper, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. 
So now, while that's kind of pre-marinating a little bit, pre-brining, kind of not really, um, we're gonna get some oil in the pan going. You're doing this so nice and official. I was just gonna be like, yeah, here's what he does. <laughs> I know. I appreciate I it. No, they appreciate it. I'm also gonna get a little sampler here. Even though the rice? It was so good though. I know. Maybe it's better now, after a little bit? The whole thing, that was brave. That's a lot of rice they put on the bottom. The mm -hmm. ratio's a little off. It's still a little hard, the rice. But it's What's getting that? better, yeah. Mm -mm. It tastes the same as before. Oh, we, I definitely would remove a little bit of this a lot. But the salmon? It's, it's so like good. buttery. Very good. I can rate the salmon, like fresh raw shrimp now. Shrimp? Fish? Because I've been to a really nice Right. High quality place, and I have something to compare it to. Okay. So, underrated step. We're gonna open some windows. <laughs> go get the fan, because it's gonna yeah. get smoky, but we need it to get smoky. Uh huh. I'm gonna move all this stuff here. You also can also get our microwave in the sides. Yeah. This isn't gonna take like super long. Okay. Using vegetable oil? Canola. Canola. Oh. This, this is vegetable, baby. Are you sure? I'm positive. Oh, then I've been eating vegetable oil. I, are you sure? I thought we put canola oil in there. No, this is vegetable. For the... Oh, you might be right. I am right. You're, you're still faded. Uh, I'm talking canola. It's got a flavor to it. Oh, you're never going to let that go. What? That I'm faded? Faded? I love it. I love you. I'm not saying that in a bad There's way. There's no wasabi oil in there. I don't want to care. I love you so much. <laughs> I want you to be funny. I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's fucking funny. So far enough. Facts. I would agree with that statement. So next, we're going to start preheating the pan. Our stove top, as you may have heard Liz say before in the past, is extremely strong. So I do medium high, but if you have a normal stove top, then I would suggest doing high. And we're gonna let this preheat for like three to five minutes or so. It's a stainless steel pan, it's just, what happened there? I don't know, but that's a great point that you make. I, I've i tried a bunch of different cooking methods. Yeah. Grilling has been my least successful because guys, what we're after today is the perfect crust yeah and we're trying to get a really good cook on the inside yeah so we need to sear this super hot so that we can get that super crusty crust yeah um and i'm gonna go get the thermometer as well but uh, stainless steel has been the best to me or cast iron pans yeah and since he's already starting we're gonna start heating up the sides also i feel like i should do the spinach first because i'd rather the spinach that's be... what i was thinking too okay <laughs> i'd rather this be hot hot Okay, folks, we're gonna get started. Are you ready, babe? Yeah, sorry about this camera, you guys. It's it's just, I can't wait to get my other one. Okay, so a few important notes. Canola oil. This is secret sauce. You wanna use an oil that has a high smoke point, grapeseed, avocado, or options. I like to taste canola. We're getting smoky. We're gonna have to put this guy on. We're only gonna do one steak at a time, too. That's important. We don't wanna crowd the pan. And I like doing roughly 90 seconds a side. Okay, Google, set a timer for 90 seconds. Okay, one minute and 30 seconds. Really, I should be putting Starting that away now. from me, but it's okay. So that the oil doesn't splatter on me. Another thing I low-key forgot to do is I always like to push it down as well. Should have did this right away, but it's all good. We're really trying to get like that burnt, crusty crust right now. Not necessarily burnt, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so after 90 seconds, I'm just going to take a peek. Sometimes I don't flip it right away. Let me see. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll flip it right now. And you see we got that dark brown goodness. Okay, Google. Set a timer for 90 seconds. All right, one minute and 30 seconds. And we're starting now. Now this is going for a nice infusion of salmon going into the steak. <laughs> I'm heating up the sushi rice. Okay, now here's my little trick. You might see some people talk about butter basing your steak. That is such a, an amazing way to make steaks, but I am not talented enough to butter base. So Yay! I found, no listen, I found my own little trick and it's lazy but I swear it tastes just as good as butter basing. So watch this. After around 45 seconds or so, which is right now, I'm gonna lower the heat a bit to around medium. And I'm gonna take around a tablespoon of butter or so, and I'm popping this guy right on top. Now this is Zane's lazy version of butter basting. I'm gonna just use my tongs and kind of go like this with the butter, right? And by the way, keep in mind that I did lower the heat to medium right now. I'm letting the pan slightly cool off, and then I'm gonna melt the butter in the side. You want to lower the pan so you don't burn the butter, but if you see these brown sort of bubbles, that's a good thing. Now we're getting all this buttery goodness right in our steak. And now after three minutes total, I'm going to check the temperature. Stop. We like to go for medium rare, which means pulling it off at around like 120, 125-ish. Okay, Google. 
set a timer for three minutes. And then now, what's really important is you have to make sure the steak rests. We don't want to cut into the steak too early. Obviously, the rest of our food isn't even done yet. Done yet? <laughs> Voice crack. But it's really important that you let the steak rest. It's going to keep cooking a little bit, and we're going to try to lock in those juices. Wow, he's wiping out the pan. I never do that. Yeah, so I'm trying to get a more or less clean start right now, fresh start for the second steak. Get this pan going on high again. It's already pretty hot. Get some canola oil going. Nice and simple. All right, guys, look at this crisp. Look at this crust. Look how crispy this crust is. We're letting this rest for about three to four minutes. You kind of want to do half of the cooking time normally, but because these steaks are kind of thin, it really only takes about three to four minutes for it to cook. So I do about that time, maybe a little bit less if I can't wait. But it is important that you let your steaks rest. So we're going to let this rest for a little bit, and then we'll cut into it and plate. How you doing? Alrighty, folks, moment of truth. Really proud of this crust. Hopefully, it's cooked well. It's always a little bit of a gamble, but let's see. That's a nice piece of fat. I also like cutting my steaks like this because it's so much more satisfying when you plate it. Okay, yeah, it's a nice medium pinkness. I think this is a good strip. My steak, actually, the first one I made was a little bit more on the rare side. But, listen, this is part of the art of cooking steak. It takes a, a bit of practice to cook it right, and I'm obviously still learning. But if you can get a good crust, you're in a good spot. Yeah, there you go. I would say this is closer to medium. All right, now I'm over here doing a little bit of plating action. We have our heated up sides. Delicioso, how you doing? Yum, do a little bit of finishing salt on the mac and the spinach. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the finished product. Yum. My right, baby, I need the official review. Okay, hold on, let me just put my camera a mile away. You happy mm -hmm. with it? Absolutely. Mmm. You just need the best steak, what can we say? I'm not gonna lie, the beautiful thing about this is that every time I make my steaks, the results slightly vary depending on, you know, the cook times or the steak and all that. But cooking it this way, the canola oil and the way I butter it and stuff, simple salt and pepper, it always hits. Like I will say, I will confirm, I think Whole Foods has higher quality steaks from what I had the other day. This is still phenomenal though. Like still feels like on that steakhouse. Happy house anniversary, baby. Happy house anniversary. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I don't remember what I last filmed yesterday, but apple pie was delicious. The cake batter ice cream that we had is literally pistachio. So I called them and let them know that they must have mislabeled. But Zane didn't die. He's allergic. So apparently they don't make it with real pistachios. They make it with like almond paste. I think so but I called and let them know they were like is it green I'm like no it's not but it literally is not cake butter it is pistachio and we just did the podcast and we had Zane's mom try it and she was like it's pistachio right like I we didn't tell her what flavor it was so that must have been a misprint but other than that apple pie was delish we didn't like the cream spinach and mac and cheese was bomb and the steak was bomb so that's that now we're eating the pizza that I brought home from the event yesterday, which is air fried it. Just recorded the pod, ice rolling. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got at the event yesterday. We're gonna work out and then get ready for, we're going out to dinner tonight. We're taking out Zane's mom and his stepdad because Zane's mom finally finished her like workers comp case and now she gets to like get a job and stuff. So it's really exciting. So we've been wanting to celebrate with her. So we're going out to dinner. Happy Wednesday. All right, while I digest before I go work out, let me show you what I got yesterday from the event real quick. Also so exciting, my new camera is arriving today. I can't wait, I'm so excited. I mean, I love this one, it's very easy, like point and shoot, but I feel like I can't get the angles that I want, it's way too close, and the zoom takes forever, but I feel like now I will start using this for things like yesterday when I'm going into the city that I don't need my giant big clunky camera. I might as well bring this one. Anyways, they had Ray-Bans there. We got to pick one. There was yellow, red, purple, or black. And I definitely wasn't gonna go for the purple or the red because I just feel like I wouldn't wear that, but I almost went for the yellow and then someone went and grabbed the last bag and I was debating between that and the black. So I was like, okay, I guess this is a sign that I should get the black because I'll wear them more, even though I have a ton of black sunglasses, but if I'm gonna have a nice pair of Ray-Bans, might as well have a classic color, right? I don't really know if they like suit my face very well. Like, what do we think? Are they fun? I will say they are pretty big for my face. So I'm gonna try to like bend them a little bit maybe because they're just, yeah. Even when I put them on my head, I feel like they're just gonna fall off. They're just super wide. So maybe I can, yeah. I feel like you can give this like metal right here on the sides, like a little bend in a safe way though. So I don't break them. Oh yeah, that's already better. Cute, right? Obviously this is a sticker too. I'll take that off. Okay, fun. That's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on my sunglass holder. 
cute little case too i love that oh it actually says black dark green so i guess they're like a dark green color next up we got a nice little goodie bag i took like a super quick peek but i didn't really like take everything out so let's see what we got first up we have this Kerastase hair oil i'm pretty sure this is for your hair right maybe we'll try that out a little bit later when we get ready for dinner oh i see my cellar water this stuff is amazing i use the one with the blue cap though which i think is for waterproof makeup i have it sitting over there but i will take either because this stuff is amazing next we've got l'oreal paris daily lotion with 50 spf in it that's nice you guys know i always love a face moisturizer dry skin over here oh lip balm wow this is all very useful stuff love that what else we got another l'oreal lotion another lip balm oh a little mini hairspray that's really nice actually first i thought it was root spray like for your hair oh this is cool i've never seen this before one side has like the puffiness and then the other side has like the sponge texture so you can use one side for liquids and then the other side for powders very cool and i love real techniques that's the beauty sponge that i use every single day i love their brushes too ask me about my skincare routine what do we got in here oh we're gifting you a complimentary hydrofacial boost please email to redeem oh i think you go like this go like this and it keeps your hair out of your face when you're doing your skincare very cute I love it. And now I got a nice little reusable bag for my collection. Okay, also, side note, I just got a package in the mail. Been wanting to try this brand, and they were nice enough to send me some stuff. So I'm so hyped. You guys know I'm on my hair growth journey. I'm kind of vibing with this headband, so it's going to stay on. So I'm trying a bunch of different stuff to see what makes my hair thicker, fuller. I don't really care so much about length. I don't really mind the length. I mean, it would be nice if I can grow it out and it's thick and healthy on the bottom. I just don't really grow my hair out when I have no extensions in because at the bottom it looks so sparse. So I try to keep it short so that it looks fuller. But this brand, JS Health, apparently their vitamins are really, really good. Oh, they sent a bunch of stuff. This is the one that I want to try, the hair and energy. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I'll see if they give me a code by the time this vlog goes up. I do feel like I see a lot of people taking collagen supplements, so maybe I should be doing that. So yeah, thank you so much to JS Health for sending this stuff over. Not sponsored, but I am very, very excited. Apparently it makes your hair really nice and thick and full, so that's what a girl needs. I will start taking this today. That's for sure. Oh, and you just take one every day and there's 60 in here, so this is a two month supply. Awesome. I was interested in this one for the hair, but also energy, like, I'll take an energy boost. Why not? Pretty much the same size as the seed pills that I take every morning. So I'm just gonna incorporate this one into my routine. Okay, so I've just gotten so much like PR and like items that I've just been like accumulating. So I'm just running around doing some organizing. And I organized a little pill thing for Zane. I gotta get a bigger one for mine because I take a lot and it wouldn't fit in here. But his do. So look how cute. I remembered we had this, but I forgot where I put it and I just found it in the hallway closet when I was putting something in there. So he already took his today, so now he's set up for the rest of the week. He only takes three, but I have like, a lot of mine are like two capsules a day, so it just wouldn't fit. I'll, I'm gonna order myself a bigger one on Amazon because that'll be nice, but so cute, right? Alrighty, just got the voiceover done for the steak reel video that you guys just watched from yesterday. So I'm gonna upload that while I get on the bike and start my workout. Got a Bailey Blue right here, look how freaking cute. She's sleeping, look at the little paw. I love it, thank you. Usually she's always by Zane's side because he's her favorite, but I'm getting love right now. Look at this snuggle. Oh my chunky snuggle. I'm gonna get up, okay mama? It's arm day, let's go do arm day. That's my favorite day, quick and easy. I actually have all three cats with me right now. <laughs> I've got a Bailey. I got a bench and a Bella sits behind here. She's got a secret little cubby and it's her favorite spot. I always know she's there because she's like a snorer. So when she's sleeping, you can hear her little nose like, that's a really bad impression, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm going downstairs. You guys are probably gonna follow me down. So see you in a minute. <laughs> I've been pacing my paces to come to I've been making my makers say what I'm offering. We've all had behaviors and they've been troubling. Smoke way too much, I keep coughing. I pull out all the stops to make a profit. When I get down to the bottom, I need topping. Come here and ease my mind, be my clonopin. Let me chug this thing and be proud of it. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you're on the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor. When I'm on the floor, Force, there's no problem I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you're on the 
We are all nice and ready for dinner. I really wanted to wear this jumpsuit that I rented from Newly. And I tried to wear it yesterday actually into the city, but that outfit ended up working out cute anyway. But the zipper is like all broken and I've tried to like put it down, put it up, put it down, put it up, get it back on the track. And it's chalked and I really wanted to wear this. This was like my favorite piece that I rented and I didn't get to. And now my return is due in like two or three days. So I don't really have anything else that I would want to wear it to that soon. I mean, I could just put it on and take pictures in it, I guess, if I really wanted to. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, so I just pivoted and I just put on my tried and true Amazon top with my Amazon linen pants, actually. So full Amazon fit. Super comfy and casual. I'll probably just wear some like Birkenstock slides or something simple like that. We're going to like a casual place. It's called Verde in Bayshore. It's a Mexican spot. Never been, but it's been on my like to-go list for a while. At least I don't think I've been. I think maybe I went like a long, long time ago, like pre- pandemic i'm really good at going somewhere and forgetting that i went it happened to me one time with another restaurant and i was like first time and my friend was like mm, we literally have been there and then it just happened at the u.s open i thought i was trying an aperol spritz for the first time and i put on my like instagram story that it was bitter and i didn't really like it that much and my manager texted me and she's like actually you had it for the first time with me and i was like no way and it was like a few months back probably actually way longer probably like a year back and i was like did i like it and she was like no you said it was too bitter i'm like how did i not remember that so I very well could have been to this restaurant. But either way, it's a new experience because I clearly don't remember. Now I'm way more into restaurants too. I like keep track of all the restaurants that I've been to. So yeah, that's where we're gonna go. I'm excited for some Mexican food. Probably gonna get some tacos. Steak tacos is like my go-to. And that's it. That's where we're gonna go. We're going for dinner. We are back from dinner, everyone. And as soon as I walked in, I was like, I've been here. I went like a long time ago though, in like 2019, like four years ago. But I noticed as soon as we walked in, I sat right in the front last time I was there and we sat all the way in the back. They have like a greenhouse, it's really cute. Food was pretty freaking good. The flautas were amazing, the tacos were all right, guac was good. But what I just spent like so much time doing when I got home, cause I just love stuff like this, is I use this app called Belly. And apparently I think it's like exclusive right now. Like you can only like invites only. So I don't know if you guys can just sign up for it. I'm not really sure, but try B-E-L-I. And then on there, you can like rank like different restaurants that you've been to. And you guys know me, I take pictures of everything. So I was just going through on my camera roll and seeing like what restaurants I've been to. And then you can put like little descriptions, your favorite dish, all pictures of it. So I've just been doing like so many restaurants because clearly I forget that I've been places. So this will be really nice if someone's like, oh, have you ever been to this? Is it good? I'm gonna be like, I don't remember, have I? So now I have it all laid out on here. And it's cool because you can put notes of like, oh, I didn't like this dish or this dish was really good or the ambiance was nice or the service was not good, whatever. I just found like some other Long Island girl that I started following because I'm like, I need people that are near me or like New York City so that I can actually go to the recommendations. So that's what I've been doing. So that's been a lot of fun. And now, guess what I got in the mail? At this point in time, I haven't put up a vlog yet using this camera, so I don't know if you guys hate it or not, but nonetheless, I am very excited about this. I've got my new camera. Oh, here's my old one right here. So sad, she doesn't close, she's upside down. It's really not that bad, but you just see if my dad can fix it. He's just on a work trip right now. So I was like, I need another camera anyway. Apparently the camera that I use is like non-existent right now. Maybe they just made like a newer model. I didn't really look into it that much because I just <laughs> wanted it. So I just looked up mine and ordered it, but it was kind of hard to find. I had to buy a used one. So hopefully it's in good condition, but it's from Adorama, which I've literally worked with them before. I know they're a good company. So I'm not that worried. I just usually like to buy brand new just to save myself any sort of headache. And this one's fun because it was like a good amount cheaper. Like I think like maybe 50 bucks, I could be wrong. Anywhere from like 20 to 50 bucks cheaper for this one instead of all black. So now I have silver on it. It's gonna have to do. So here is my original and here's like the new one I just got. So let's switch over the lens. I definitely need to be just more careful in general with my cameras clearly okay battery fits let's turn her on <gasps> benji we're back in action <gasps> guys i can hold it literally this close to my face and it looks so much better than this oh <gasps> this looks beautiful oh my god maybe it was time for a new camera wait it's not on video mode hold the phone there we go <gasps> 
I'm gonna switch my SD card over and this camera battery is dying. So let me put in a new one and I'm gonna switch you guys over. Yay! I've missed her. Haven't you missed her? I have. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, I thought I just got all the settings right, but clearly not. I look like I'm in a crazy white room. Hold on. I disabled the auto lighting optimizer, which I thought helped, but now I feel like I look the same. My face looks all weird. It's like shadowing my, it looks like it's almost trying to smooth my skin. What is happening? I'm not very smart with cameras. I'm more of like a point and shoot. Like put it on auto and it looks good. So this is confusing me. I'm gonna have Zane look at it, but I literally went through every single setting on this one and I lined them up. So hopefully this looks okay. Okay, I'm really tired now. I just sat here for so long checking all of the settings, but we're back in action. Wide angle lens, easy zoom is back. This is how the other camera was. So close to my face. Now this one, nice and far away. We love her. Now let's just hope that I can fix this one so then I'll have two, like a backup. Um, anywho's, happy to have my camera back. HelloFresh just got delivered, so I'm gonna go put that in the fridge. It's gonna be perfect for this weekend. And then tomorrow is gonna be a nice productive day of all the things that I have been procrastinating. So I will take you guys along. I'm gonna see you then. I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for bed right now. And tomorrow is a fresh start for another day. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I'm still trying to mess with the lighting and settings on this camera, so if it looks a little weird and wonky, I feel like it does, but maybe when I put it on the computer, it'll look fine. Maybe this is just higher quality, and I was used to my other one, and I needed a better one, but I feel like I just look weird. I don't know. I look like I'm in, like, um, when you sharpen an image too much, or when you're in, like, super high definition. I feel like that's what it's doing to my face. Anywho, I was planning on sleeping in tonight. I set my alarm for an hour after I usually wake up, and my brain... I just have so many things I want to get done today and I'm feeling very productive so I was just like F it I'm gonna get up at my normal time. So here we are. I'm gonna do my little morning routine. I just put on some face moisturizer. I have my little headband on which is really funny looking. Taking my morning seed, all my morning stuff. I have so many things I want to do today and I'm, I'm feeling like I can get them done. Today is that day. Finally, I'm gonna do the things I keep pushing to the next day on my calendar. You know what it might be? I was shooting on my old camera with the brightness of my screen a little bit down. So maybe I'm used to that and it looks fine on a computer. Let me try that. Okay, last try. I think that was it. <laughs> yeah, I think that was it. I wasn't used to my screen being so bright above me. I think we found the issue here. Just bear with me. Obviously, I'm in a weird transition with cameras and stuff. All right, let's do our morning gratefuls. So excited to get today done. I just know I'm gonna feel so good later. So good. Number one grateful is a free day to do what I've procrastinated. Second grateful is that belly app. Zane and I stayed up way too late ranking all the restaurants we've been to. We, we had way too much fun. Way too much fun. Oh, and I haven't put the concert tickets that I just got to go see SZA, so I'm gonna put those down. SZA concert. So pumped for that. Okay, next let's go get into some athleisure so that I feel like I'm not bumming around in my PJs. Makes me feel more productive. I'm just gonna wear this top again because I just wore it to dinner and that was it. Okay, now I feel like I can be a productive member of society today. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of brow gel and mascara just to make myself feel, you know, a little put together. So I've got a lot of things on my list. I'm gonna take you guys through one by one and we are gonna get it done together. You guys are gonna be my motivation today. It's been a while since I've done a like super productive motivational vlog. So this is your sign. If you have stuff that you've been laying over to the next day, the next day, the next day on your list. If you, you're, I just know you're, you're thinking of something right now that you're like, ooh, I have that thing that I have been procrastinating as well. Well, you know what? It's time to get up and do it. How about that? It's Tuesday. Maybe you didn't do it yesterday to start off your week right or the, or Sunday, but today's the day. Also, I've been highly thinking about just doing like a nice little chop on my hair, especially before Italy. I feel like it'll be like new era. It's a thought. Maybe I'll even do it before I go to Texas this month, but I definitely can't do that myself because it needs to be like nice and You know straight I cut off like the little ends myself, but that I think I should get professionally done Look how good my hair growth is too. My roots are coming in. I'm just gonna keep letting this grow out I don't even care because I just want that color on my whole head my natural color everywhere I'm just gonna keep letting it go 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 and just do like a little fresh toner on top so that it still can keep growing out without like dyeing it. 
I usually love bottom mascara, but I think when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I prefer just top mascara. You know what I mean? I feel like it just makes my face look better. I feel like I'll get raccoon eyes too if I don't take this off, that's for sure. She's looking a little bit fuller, a little bit thicker. Since I'm starting to take those hair vitamins, I'm starting to like really document my hair growth journey because I'm really on that hair journey of trying to make it not necessarily grow, but thicker, like just more of it, just healthier. So I took a picture yesterday. I had Zane take one and I was very impressed when I looked at it. I was like, we made so much progress. I was so impressed. I was like, wow, my hair actually looks kind of nice. Love that. All right, let's go. A day of doing all the things that I've been putting off. I'm excited. Are you? I hope so. One of the things on my list should be to clear off that island. First things first, I have two really easy things to get off my list. I have an email that I've been snoozing that I need to respond from my accountant. And then the other thing I need to do is make the appointment for my expensive fill-ins. So I'm going to call the dentist, make that, answer this email. That is step one. Let's get the few little easy things done while I'm sitting here ice rolling because I do want to get in my walking bed. Hi, I just need to schedule an appointment. You guys gave me a quote. I was there the other day for two fill-ins. Okay. And what is your name, please? A-L-I or A-O-Y? Uh, it's actually A-L-L-I. <laughs> A-L-L-I. Yeah, S-A. Still two S's as well or just one S? Just one. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, let me take a look, Alyssa. Sure. You said you needed to make an appointment for a cleaning? No, no, two fill-ins. You guys gave me oh, a quote. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, for, it was four fifty-five. The description says... Posterior resin composite, so I don't know. That's the technical term, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see what we have in the notes here. Give me one moment. I just need okay. to see how much time they want and what doctor it was. Yeah, no problem. She has availability actually tomorrow. Okay, is it? It's not like anything that I need to be like dropped off, picked up, like I can eat after. It's not like a big thing, right? I would say just basically food wise, they just wait until at least you're no longer numb because they're going to look to do both of them. Okay. Okay. So like within a few hours, I'll be fine. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So what times does she have tomorrow? Um, I could do a two o'clock tomorrow. Um, okay. We can do that. All right. You're all set for two o'clock Friday the 15th with Dr. Park. My pleasure. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. Well, I didn't really want to do it tomorrow because I have to upload my vlog, but hopefully by two o'clock. Usually when I have like, I have to be somewhere at a certain time, I get things done quicker. I don't know if you guys like feel the same way, but I'm like, okay, now that I have an appointment at two o'clock. I have to get my stuff done before. It's a preventative fill-in. Fill-in? Filling? Filling. Fill-in is for nails. Okay. Um, well, I didn't have that on my list, so you know we're about to write down make dentist appointment. I just had the paper sitting on my desk, so it reminded me. And we're gonna check it off because it makes you feel better, right? And now we're gonna go answer that email. Isn't even like a big deal of an email. I just don't know why I've been snoozing it. I also got an invite to a Broadway show email. So I need to respond to that. I just looked at the Instagram, see if I was like interested and it looks pretty funny. It's a comedy, it's called Gutenberg. And I think it's by two actors that were in Book of Mormon, which I still have not seen, but I'm definitely interested in this. And the available dates are September 19th, 20th or 21st. 19th is mom's birthday. We'll be hanging out with her. And then 20th would be the best day. 21st is the day before I leave for Texas. So I am going to respond to this. I got it two days ago. So that's not that bad. Um, so hopefully there's still spots available. So I'm going to respond to that and say I would love to attend on September 20th. Fun, fun. <laughs> it actually works because when I went to the city yesterday, it was? No, two days ago now for the brunch. I bought a round trip off peak ticket for the train not realizing I was gonna be going home on peak, like during like work hours, which is more expensive. So I was like, all right, fine. I'll just save my ticket coming back home because I'm going to the city anyway at some point. And now I feel like go to this because I have a free train ticket to go there. Not really, I paid for it, but you know, girl map. Next, I'm just packing up my rental clothes because they need to be returned within the next like day or so so that I can unlock my next month so I can order more clothes that can come in time for when I go to Texas. So I'm just putting everything back. Unfortunately, I didn't get to wear the romper because the zipper was broken. I'm gonna let them know, but that's very upsetting. But we had a good time this month with these clothes. We got a nice little reel out of this. We wore it. I wore this with the cowboy boots the other day. This dress got her love at the party. This dress got her love for Zane's birthday dinner. And these pants I never wore either. Every time I put them on, I ended up taking them off. So I'm just like, it's not meant to be. I just don't, not really vibing with them that much. I felt like I was drowning in them because I'm so short and they're so wide-legged. It just wasn't flattering me. So I ended up not wearing those as well, but it's okay. 
I definitely got my use out of the other pieces. So this has to go back to UPS. They give you a prepaid shipping label in here and then you just stick it on. It's really easy. And the cool thing is, is the return address is in Pennsylvania. So I can send it like a day or two before my rental is up and they'll get it really quickly. That's it. Now I just send this out. Update on the musical is I got the tickets for the 20th. So that's exciting. And one of the main guys in it is Olaf from Frozen. Isn't that cool? This guy right here. That's Olaf. I love that. It's actually a musical about two guys that are trying to make a musical. And it's like a comedy. So that's pretty funny. Okay, I got a really cool PR package that I want to share with you. So I'm going to go get it. <laughs> you see what that says? <laughs> I was hoping that I was still on her PR list. I saw that she was sending PR packages to a bunch of people on her stories on Instagram. And I was like, oh, I hope I get one. That's so fun. And I did. So we're gonna unbox, I'm so excited. So if you don't know what this is, this is Gina from Skinny Taste. She is a amazing cookbook author. If you guys watch my vlogs, you've heard me talk about her all the time. I've made so many of her recipes. She actually lives on Long Island in the same area as me. So we got to like meet up one day and go on a walk and she was so nice. Her recipes have just really changed my life. All her recipes are just so delicious, but they're like lighter versions of the originals and it's really helped me on like my health journey in my life. And she just released her new cookbook, which is simple. So it's seven ingredients or less, which is right up Zane and I's alley. So I'm so excited to try some recipes from here. I will be sharing with you guys. Thank goodness for the wide angle camera. Am I right? Here we go. I'm so excited. So excited. All right, so here it is. Her brand new cookbook. It is gorgeous. Stunning. And I love what she did on here is put little pictures of the ingredients. I'm such a visual person. So I am so pumped about this. And honestly, I've been a little bit lazier with cooking. I like stuff that's a little more quick and easy right now in the, at this point in my life. So seven ingredients or less and like really simple is right up my alley. So I am going to bookmark some recipes on here and we will make them. And then we've got a bunch of goodies in here. So first up, we got Delalo pasta. These are amazing. They're shell bows, so they're a mix of shells and elbows. Delalo is such a nice, high-quality pasta brand. Yum. <gasps> a can, <gasps> a William Sonoma candle. Lemongrass and ginger. Someone got me a William Sonoma candle for our engagement and housewarming party. And it smelled so good and it lasted forever and I kept the jar. It's on our built-ins as decor because it's so pretty. Oh my god, that smells amazing. That smells so fresh. I love anything lemony. Lemon scented is like my fave. Wow, that is beautiful. I'm so excited to light that. Next up feels like a bar of soap. What is this? It is oatmeal, honey, earth, and clay soap. Uh, yum. How freaking pretty is that? Is this like body soap or like hand soap? Smells like a fancy hotel. Ooh, next up we got a jar of sauce. Delalo Pomodoro Fresco. Handcrafted Italian tomato sauce. I actually have never tried their sauce before. I am a Rayo's fan, but maybe this will convert me. We shall see. It looks very nice and fresh. And next up, I feel a bottle of olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. This is so pretty. We love a good olive oil. I use it all the time, so that is very useful. I think that's everything. Let me just make sure I'm not missing nothing. Oh, I missed something. Something small. Oh, nail polish. Another nail polish. Oh, a top coat. Very cute. Those are hiding in there. I almost accidentally got rid of them. Now I think that's everything. <gasps> so exciting. Thank you, Gina. I adore you. So excited to try something now, yay. Next on the to-do list is to get a brand deal sent in for YouTube and Instagram. So I'm gonna hop on my walking pad, get that edited, sent in. I'm trying to use a gum because my bowl of my ears just randomly popped. I'm trying to make it go away. All right, old dummy did an hour on there. I got my work done. I even started editing tomorrow's vlog. Look at Benji, this is how he's been laying lately. He's been loving this chair. You can see his fur all over. But lately he lays on his back and he like spreads himself out. But that's how he's comfortable. He likes a good stretch. He's a good boy. Look at these little tootsies now. Tootsie number one and tootsie number two. Nice. 
All right, I'm gonna put my office back together so I can sit and I'm gonna take a lunch break. Oh, <gasps> look at what I just noticed on this chair. That is Tanner. <gasps> I gotta get that out. I didn't even realize from leaning on it when we record the podcast, I've been transferring Tanner. Okay, here's my lunch craving. I keep seeing people go to this place in New York City that I need to go try next time I'm there, like during the day. It's called Pop-Up Bagels, and apparently there's always a long line, but it's these like fluffy, big bagels, and you rip them apart, and then you like dip them in the cream cheeses. Oh my God, it looks so good. And I could just do that over here, really. I could just go to like our favorite bagel spot, get our bagels, and then just dip them in cream cheese. But it's the principle that I want to try that place. So, they're supposed to be like really light and fluffy. Oh, just sounds amazing. So, what I'm gonna do right now is toast up some sourdough, put some cream cheese on it, and some everything bagel seasoning. Crave that like cream cheese craving. I'm gonna do two nice pieces of sourdough. That way it'll all fit very nicely in the toaster. I don't got time to be flipping it over, and, you know? Yeah. And I have four slots, so why would I do that? This is my new Drew Barrymore toaster, which by the way, all of her products, chef's kiss, especially the pan. Oh my God, even Zane was like, this pan is phenomenal. Like how cool is that? It's all touchscreen. The blender's really good. I've been loving everything, so good. Oh my God, I've missed my wide angle lens so much. So my tactic right now is I'm letting the warm bread warm the cream cheese a little bit so it's a little more spreadable. Oh, that worked perfectly. Oh my God, I'm craving this so hard right now. This is gonna slap. And if you're judging my cream cheese amount, I'm from Long Island and if you go get a bagel here, your cream cheese will literally be two inches thick. <laughs> so this is nothing. If you go to a bagel shop here, you are not safe. You can take off that cream cheese and put it on like three bagels, but it's the best. Some everything bagel. Mm. Oh my God. It's phenomenal. We're doing good, everyone. It is 112. We've already gotten, I feel like a lot of stuff checked off my list. It is. I'm pretty sure it's like nice out, like 70 something. So I'm gonna take this moment with my Kindle outside, have a little lunch break. I honestly haven't read, I feel like in a few days. Okay, yeah, wow, it is so nice out. So yeah, I was saying I've read like a few little pages here and there, but I haven't like taken time to like sit and really read. I feel like I've been like, go, 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 doing other things. So I'm gonna take a minute because I really am enjoying this book. So I don't wanna lose momentum, you know? What is next on my list, you may ask? It is making our save the dates for the wedding. Oh, I have been putting this off for so long. I feel like people usually send them out about a year before your wedding and it's already mid-september so i need to get these ordered because our wedding is october of next year so i think i'm gonna do a little screen recording so you guys can make them with me that'll be fun right i know you guys love the wedding planning content so let's do this together shall we okay first things first we are going to be using minted they are nice enough to gift zane and i our save the dates and our invitations which is so beyond kind of them so we are gonna create it on there. I went and did some TikTok digging, and this isn't sponsored by the way. They didn't ask me to say any of this. They didn't pay me to say any of this. They are just simply gifting Zane and I some invitations and some save the dates. So I'm very grateful for that. So I went and did some TikTok digging and I found this girl who made her save the dates on Minted and I really liked her layout. So she actually shared, she didn't gatekeep, which um, like template that she used. So this is it. It is called Focal. F-O-C-A-L. I am probably gonna do the just regular square shape or rectangle shape rather, like sharp edges. I think I like that the best. Click this to add a photo. Okay, so we're gonna upload a photo from my Dropbox. Okay, so here we are. We're in my Dropbox folder where I have our engagement photo shoot that we did in the city. Yes, I am crazy and I put all of the pictures into an insane amount of folders. I 
categorize them into areas. Uh, CP stands for Central Park. We did a lot of our photos there. We did some at the Met. And then I will put that I posted them so that I know they're already up on Instagram. So I still have a good amount to post, but obviously I wasn't going to post them all at once. They're good, really good photos for leading up to the wedding to be able to post and do some countdowns, whatever I need them for. So... Um, that being said, I did post a lot of our favorites, um, so I think I'm going to use one of those, but I just know I'm so indecisive, so there are going to be just so many that I love, so I have to make a decision. My first thought is popping the champagne in the shower. Those are really cute, and they do give like a save the date vibe, so let's see what it looks like. It doesn't hurt to try them all. That's cute. It's cute, but I don't think it's giving like exactly what it should give. So I think this is like a grayscale. Okay, and this is like a warmer black and white. I definitely like the warmer one. And let's move the save the date text to the top. I think I like it laid out nicely at the top here. Okay, so over here we can change to Zane. Wait, let's do caps. Zane and Alyssa. And then they had a little dot there. How did I, how do I get that back? <laughs> or maybe I'll just do like space, 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 Long Island, NY. To landscapers. I chose to do this at the perfect time, huh? Then we'll put our date up here. 2024, baby. Wow, that's creeping up on us quick. The landscapers are in the backyard. Can you hear them? <laughs> It's cute, but I'm not 100% sold on this picture. I'll be honest. Sorry. Let's try another one. I'm going to go into the Met folder because I feel like those are the ones that were like the point of our photo shoot. Like that is the location we wanted. All the other locations were just for funsies. And I feel like this might be the money shot right here. So let's see of him when I'm bending backwards and him holding me, like dipping me. Mmm. Definitely needs to be zoomed in and then like moved like that. And it looks kind of like bad quality a little bit, but is that kind of like the point? Okay, another option. Let's add another one. I'm also gonna put like a few pictures as a collage on the back of the save the date. So even ones that I'm like indecisive on, I can put them on the back. Let's see this one. This is one of us like walking. Oh, that's way too blurry. Okay, forget that one. <gasps> I definitely think like black and white is the vibe. I feel like that gives like classy vibes on the front. Yeah, like I don't love the way this looks, but black and white it. No, I don't like this one either. Oof. This is going to be hard, you guys. I'm so indecisive. I do like that it saves it over here in your photo library area because you can like reference all of them. Ooh, this one is nice. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. That's my favorite so far. That one's really pretty. I like that one a lot. Okay, that's like number one for sure. This picture is also kind of iconic. We're leaning over the like balcony of the Met and she went, our photographer went on the other side to capture it. Where did we go? Baby, go back. Okay, open Sesame, please. Here she is. It's pretty, but I don't think it's like front of invite pretty. Like I could go on the back, but that's really, really pretty. It looks like we're in a magazine. There also is this one, which was one of the first previews that Monica had sent us. And I was like, a like jaw on the floor. Like this looks like a bridal magazine. This picture is one of my favorites. And that is giving very much bride, but I don't like that. You can see my face and not Zane's. This is why I was progressing it for sure because I know I'm gonna be like this. Oh wait, I know I like one of these. Hold on, can I make these bigger icons? But I want the icons larger, please. Okay, I'm like a boomer and I don't know how to do that. I'm pretty sure that this one is nice too. I mean, they're all, they're all beautiful, but. All right, we also have this one, which is all up close and personal. Wait a minute, this is one of my favorites. This is my wallpaper, actually. Here it is. Mm, but it's not. Oh! <laughs> it's just, it's not, no. It's just to save the date. Alyssa, it's just to save the 
good. Let's go into the arches folder. These pictures are also stunning. Wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute. That's kind of stunning as well. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, I love that you can like really easily switch through all the pictures here. This one's gotta go. I think it's way too blurry. This picture is so fun, but we have such beautiful pictures in that beautiful dress that I don't think, like that can go on the back. I don't think that needs to go on the front. This one is still my favorite. That's the one that I said was my favorite, right? <laughs> that one is beautiful. No. This one's a no because I don't like the lights on the ceiling. It's not giving what the photo shoot gave. This one is 100% the best so far. Every time I see it, I'm like, ooh, that's a good one. This one, <laughs> this one I don't think either. It's just, it's a beautiful photo, but it can go on the back. Okay, solid progress. There's also this one. Not my favorite though. Oh my God, I can I hit the wrong button. I just exited the whole thing. Oh wait, okay, all my pictures are still here, but I have to redo the text. Okay, well that was fun. I'm gonna keep messing with this and I'll come back to you guys when I, I'm gonna like narrow it down to like three choices and then show it. Okay, it's been a really long time. At least like two hours I've been sitting here messing with this because it's already six o'clock. I feel like I started at like four o'clock. I think I have it. So this is what I got right now. And then when the final ones come in and I make my really, really final decision, I will share with you guys. All right, so here's what I think I'm gonna do. I mean, I think it's stunning. I love this photo. I ended up liking the non-black and white better. And I just think this is a good represent representation of the vibe, of the photo shoot, the dress. We look cute. And then for the back, I'm still kind of messing with this, but for now, we have Zay and Alyssa at the top, the one of us running in Central Park, the one of us sitting in the window in our hotel room, looking over the balcony at the Met, and then we have some champagne on the bed here. And then over here, I don't know if it's normal that people put their wedding website on the save the date already. I thought that goes on the invitation, but it automatically, like the template said, go, here's our like wedding website. So I have to look into that if i decide to make a website now and put it on there we shall revisit and then possibly change the background color i mean maybe it would be cool if we did black with white lettering regardless this is where i'm at right now so you guys will see my final decision and the final products when they come in but that was fun so thank you for designing my save the dates with me i feel like i was going back and forth through a lot of photos and then when i put this one in i was like oh wait a minute this one looks nice okay ready let's see if you approve Oh, I love it. Yeah. Perfect. I was going back and forth between this one and then the one of us with the champagne because I was like, well, that's cool and fun. Yeah. But this is like the whole vibe of our photo shoot. Yeah, I love it. And then the back I'm still messing with, but. Perfect. Cute, right? Yeah, I love it. And then you're supposed to put your website here. I didn't realize you're supposed to put on the save the dates, not just the invitations. What do you mean it by website? It gives people like, you're supposed to make a website. It gives people travel accommodations, RSVP. Pictures of us, about us. Wow, that's high end, what the hell? Yeah. So I'm starting to make it. But I started to put travel too. I put on-site hotel and then you hit visit website and you go takes you to the hotels. Uh-huh. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah. I think that's the one. When I put it on there, I was like, ooh, that one looks the best. Yeah. I love the colors of it. And yeah. The vibe of the Met, it's perfect. Yeah. Yay! Very cute. Okay, food. All right, we're making pork, couscous, and green beans. Easy and simple. This time we got the two person serving. Good. gonna enjoy outside tonight. That was like the easiest HelloFresh meal. Oh, it's crispy in the air. Oh yeah. Wow, this looks amazing. I'm so hungry. You guys, this is slapping so hard right now. HelloFresh just puts like some magic in these sauces that they had me make. This one was sour cream, water, a mustard. What kind of mustard was that? 
I don't know. I didn't see the paper, but it's fire. You know, it's like a Dijon dill chicken stock, and it just makes this phenomenal creamy sauce. Mm. Dinner was so good. I am now in bed because I couldn't be bothered to sit at my desk for any longer. But the last thing on my list was to start planning my sister's bachelorette party. So I've got my laptop here. I'm going to relax in bed. And I'm going to do a little bit of research and then I'm going to read a little bit because I really want to read. I've got my praline pecans as my little dessert. Got my AC going, my hatch alarm. I feel so good to sit in bed. I've sat at my desk for too long today. I think we did pretty good today. It has been a long week. I'm going to start up a new vlog tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thank you again to Seed for sponsoring today's video. Definitely go check them out down below. Take advantage of that discount. Give it a try for a month and see how you feel. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Why are my my lips are so neon pink? Can you wash your fingers? Yeah, I just want you to wash my hands. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh my god, really? Because the Lalo is such a good pasta brand. Whoa, that was got zoomies. Okay. I ran out of spot. I needed to wait for you to put it in the thing <laughs> so I could put it over here.